Hi everyone, it's Kronos and yeah, so I got the Taran set or nearly, it's 6 out of 7 and in this video, I would like to be using this to solo floor, a tower floor. So yeah, this was the aftermath of spending what I had to use. And um, yeah, it was really annoying because I max limit broke this um, jewel, these jewel blades right after, what's it called, right after I pulled five and then i have the perfect abilities on this jewel blade and it's like not as perfect there no yeah this is what it's looking like i'm running i think three thunder incarnations three heroes proofs and one gallant fervor and one hermes blessing so yeah almost a hundred percent of the times when you solo with especially the lightning soul jewel blades you would probably i think i'll just go this floor 146 to 150 you want to run zephyries so yeah i'll be running zephyries angels embrace and thunderous cloak so yeah um these have nothing on them and the attack speed so that's the biggest difference i've noticed when i was using the shadow free to play version compared to this and the rolling distance so here it has attack speed plus 19 percent so i have a total of 19 plus 16 is 30 45 percent faster attack speed and the dodge distance is insane so especially when i get the soul gauge on but yeah i'd like to be soloing 146 to 150. I also got one Silent Heat Greatsword, but like I don't really use it. I just keep most SS for collection reasons. So we're starting with level 300 Desert Rock. Like, this thing's super easy if you're using Soul Jewel Blades. Yeah, and the Soul Gauge charges so much faster. Oh, I hit that weak marker. Unexpected. So then you want to just make sure. Yeah, so this roll distance is huge. Okay, so it starts to run now, okay. Now it's a bit unexpected. Now from here I'll use my cloak. Charge up the soul gauge again. This thing's pretty easy with the soul jewel blades because it doesn't move around too much. Okay, so then fire this off. And as you can see, thanks to Zephyries using the damage debuff, defense debuff, um, yeah, I was able to melt that eight, the HP on an Earth Behemoth just like that. So now I want to cast Cloak. I think it might run soon, so I want to watch out for that. So next time it runs... Oh, perfect. I'll hit the weak marker. Stagger it. Okay, so I think this is hopefully the end of that. And then I'll make sure that the Thunderous Cloak stays up. And yeah, there's like, I think, no damage taken either as well. So that's pretty cool. So Heat Jewel Blades, I don't... Okay, so fan no more for whatever. I'll be using the theories just to weaken it to everything. All lightning stuff. Okay, perfect. It also went water element. So from here, okay, I'm too far. I was going to fire the beam off. So that's what you want to watch out for. Make sure you aren't too far when you cast the beam. This is so much easier to fight instead of using um heat jewel blades. Like half the time when I was using heat jewel blades to hit this thing it wouldn't hit now, the reason i cast into theories here was because first of all it's a water behemoth and second it's to make sure that it doesn't change elements so yeah now i just probably want to tap because and then once you're done with the battle just hold it down to um keep the soul gauge high especially in um arena and tower if you're planning on using it so now we have our uh, girania roll as it hits the ground and when you fire your beam be careful make sure the behemoth is still if it's moving it's likely that um the beam will go somewhere completely different okay so i guess i had to take some damage there and there luckily it's water element so i don't take too much okay i was hoping it would die off from the zephyries but okay i took some damage there again from the tail but yeah it's been quite a while since i've used the soul jewel blades and they're actually really fun 
I was um into parrying everything in JP. Okay, now we have two butterflies. Okay. So especially with the um butterfly types, you don't want to fire off the beam because they move around quite a bit and um the hitbox is a bit off. So once it rages I'll cast this again. Just to make sure it stays water element. So when it rages I think that the theories if you're gonna fire the beam on a weak marker, try and make sure you're facing it so that it doesn't stagger out of the beam, if you understand what I mean. So the times when it's like cornered against a wall, that's when that's I think one of the best times to fire a beam on a moving behemoth. Okay, there's a lot of water in this stage, which was unexpected. It probably could have put on a different Maggie, but Okay, so these boxes are kind of annoying because so here if you jump back you can almost hit the weak all the time. Okay, so here I want to roll out of this then fire off the beam. Okay, now it's going to fire off its beam. So now it's going to do that. So roll to the side. It's a bit hard to hit the weak marker. Okay, so from here I want to hit the weak marker. Never mind. Okay, but yeah. Zephyries is like a must if you're gonna use soul jewel blades in my opinion. Especially the lightning ones. But like they're super useful. And yeah, this was Soul Jewel Blades Solo Tower. It's a lot more Yes, yeah, Soul Jewel Blades are super fun is all I can say. And this is the new um title for this clearing this tower, so it looks a bit cooler than the other one, Dragon's Rain. Clearer, but yeah, this red sort of thing is sort of buggy as well. But yeah, that was all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.